Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Love Morning. I am John Halcyon, and this is a part of a daily practice, a chance to step into our kind and connecting self, a time to remember that we're not alone on this journey, and there is massive benefit to remembering that connection, to recognizing that as we show courage in our vulnerability, in our openness to connection, that we inspire others and we give other people strength and we give other people permission to do that. I know that it certainly inspires me if someone is friendly to me as I walk the streets or am in a store or anytime. So I'm trying to do my part and encourage us all to do our part. And when we do it together, it just is so much easier. So if you're here, say hello. We'll share some gratitude after I share a song, which is made up on the spot. And who knows how it goes. But it starts like this. Time for love morning with you. I think I've got something to share from this view. It's about all the things that I love. It's about the things below and up above. It's about the trees and the sky and the rain. And everybody might start to think I'm insane. Cause I'm so happy to be with you. And I'm so happy to sing this tune. And I'm so happy for gratitude. Welcome to Love Morning. Hi, good morning. Boy, that puts a pep in my step, little. Enema of gratitude. Wee! Oh, good morning, Mingle. Good to see you here. I love you. Oh, I was just thinking about you, Mingle, and how uh, your current project, your current focus on uh, your nativity scene and that population, and uh, that that is the beginning of something so big and important. So, so grateful for your courage. Good morning, Pierre. Hello in stocky, snowy Stockholm. I was going to say stocky snow helm. <laughs> Yay! I'm awesome that you are in Stockholm with your team. I'm so grateful that I get to see you so often. It's I know you have a busy life, and uh, it's so wonderful to get to cross paths with you so frequently and absorb your good vibes. If you are here watching this live, say hello. If you are watching this recording, say hello. You know what? My hair is not good. I'm going to put some... I got these, these new goggles. They're terribly moopy, but I think that they will work for a little... To, to, I'm getting a haircut today. I made an appointment uh, with Cree, which I have not seen her in so long. So I'm going to get my hair trimmed by Cree today, but until I get the trim, I should probably, you know, be aware that it's a little wacky. I, I colored yesterday, I bleached and colored yesterday, which is why my camera is freaking out. It's just too much pink. Good morning, Carita. Grateful for the rain. Got three and a half inches last night. Grateful for life-giving rain. Yes. I am grateful for a sunny day. I am grateful for uh, a visit next week from Amy and Asher. Amy is the mother of my bio son, raising our beautiful boy. I'm his bio dad. He calls me Bada. If you saw, I posted a video of us having a play date through the our webcams. It was so it was so much more intimate and beautiful than I can imagine. Like we were playing pillow fights and we were like going under our covers. So he's under his covers and I'm under my covers, but we can see each other through our webcams. And it was like he's you know he's telling he, I can he's using his imagination and he's saying you know I'm just like following his mind's lead into these beautiful places. It was so such a treat and it's also wonderful. So has he when he visits next week, even though I haven't seen him for six weeks, two months. We've been seeing each other you know, two or three times a week on webcam, so I will not be a stranger to him. We've been, we're, we've been keeping in touch. So I can't, I can't wait to see him next week. I'm trying to get my house ready and moving all the, like, 
Amy's like, oh, he's fine, but you know, my house is not ready for kids or, or animals. Like I have precarious plants and, and shells and little, you know, uh, little sculptures and figurines all over the place. So I'm moving those out to, to make the place a little bit more friendly to a rambunctious three and a half year old. I'm so excited and grateful for that visit. Ah, oh, and grateful for grateful for this uh, a new podcast that I've been working on. I have two new podcasts I'm working on. One, Stay Sparked. You can find that on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and YouTube. And I got a new one. We recorded our first episode. It's called Gratuitous Boobs. And it's on Spotify. I'm having trouble getting it listed on Apple Podcasts for now. But so stay tuned. It's only got episode one. Episode one is about the movie Hard Bodies. And we're, the next one we're recording is about 16 Candles. It's about the movies that we, the 80s movies that warped us. Uh, it's, it's funny. We started with Hard Bodies knowing that it would be bad. And it's actually not as bad as you think. There's some redeeming things. And then we're watching 16 Candles, which you think is good. And there's a whole bunch of terrible things in it. Things that I did not realize affected me in a negative way. Mingle is grateful to fly with her sister yesterday, who was the pilot for the commercial flight. Every turn, every sound the plane made, she was the one doing all of that. So cool. When you mentioned that, I kept thinking, how cool would that be to be in a plane and knowing that, that your sister was, was at the helm? So I'm so glad you get that experience. Really beautiful. We'll be here for a minute or two more before we have a hug. Dawn is saying hello from snowy Utah. Finally had a huge snowstorm after a long drought. Well, yay for nature kicking in, dropping some moisture. Water, water, water. I've got signs all over my house right now saying water because I have not been drinking enough water. And I'm noticing it. I'm having some back issues. I actually have been, I just put a, I just purchased a tab with my acupuncturist because she's helping me so much. And, uh, as long as I am dedicating so much time and resources into healing, I need to also do the work and drink the water. Water is healing. To the planet and to our bodies. Good morning, Lorian. Oh, I'm glad you're here live. Wonderful to see you. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Um, I have got an exciting day ahead, but maybe I'll just let it unfold and share as soon as I can. I am grateful for Grocery Outlet and all the wonderful people that work there on the Waring Road location. I drive out of my way to go there because my experience is always so nice. Never more than one person in line. The checkers are super friendly. They always remember me. We always have a wonderful connection moment. And when you, you know, work from home, it's sometimes a, a real treat to have a connecting moment with someone in a store. Kiffin is sending love to my grandpa. Oh, can you see grandpa behind me? I've been really enjoying this blown up portrait that I had of him. Makes me happy. It makes me happy how much he's a part of my life. If you're, if you remember, you notice I, I, I bring him into thought three times a day, every morning after the hug, noon hug and 6 p.m. hug, at least three times a day. I am speaking his meaning aloud. I also have pictures of him around in my house and he's uh, the guiding light of my life. Mingle went karaoke last night with Ava. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Ava is uh, a, a regular in the gratitude circles as is Mingle and they're visiting each other in person. So how cool that you guys went out and rocked it at karaoke. And how wonderful that I didn't have to go because karaoke it ain't my jam. All right, we're gonna have a hug and then go off into our days. So wherever you are, give a big squeeze and appreciate this body, appreciate this moment. Let's sink into this connection, sink into the gratitude of our functioning bodies, of, our, of the gratitudes we've heard from one another, knowing that people around the world, as they express their joy, we get to feel some of that joy and we get to amplify that joy and help to expand our lens so that we can go into the world and be permission givers. We can be the ambassadors 
of love in the world. So let's take a deep breath in, squeeze, and send out love to the world and feel us all squeezing you. Hold it. <sighs> On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and all of you, thank you for being here for this love morning, being a part of Hug Nation. I love you. Drac, hello. Oh, I'm glad I get to see you. Have a beautiful day. Much love to everyone. Enjoy this Wednesday and whatever time you're seeing this, I switched this recording. Uh, hello and have a beautiful day. Oh, and if you love this t-shirt, they are available at lovemorefearless.com. Ta-da! I love you.